We've played Bayern Munich before. We got the better of them in 1983 on our way to winning the European Cup Winners' Cup. They got revenge against us in the UEFA Cup in 2008. Today, we face them in the Champions League. Great chance. Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break and Hewitt waiting in the middle. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen. I'm not going to waste too much time before we get into the nitty gritty of Bayern Munich, but we've played Heb since you last saw, smashed them 4-0, easy days, and then we beat Hamilton 4-2 with a much rotated side ahead of this game. I am absolutely cacking myself. What have I got myself into? Oh, I'm f***ing myself. Today, we'll have the two legs against Bayern Munich and I'll update you on all the games in between. Let's get into things, shall we? Oh boy, I've got a cup of tea to try calm the nerves. It's not working. Although, T-Gang, in the comments, I know you're out there. Get it down below. Thank you. And the team to face Bayern Munich. It's Montipo, Figal, Cooney, the experienced Dragovic comes in. Cruz, Jonathan, Ferguson, Proper, Concesau, the main man, Guvia and Armando. He's on the poacher's role. It's his most natural role. Figured that's best. He's new to the team. He's from Brazil, just signed from Flamengo. Doesn't speak much English. Give him his uh, normal role now and then we can adapt him later on once he's used to the surroundings of the northeast of Scotland. The Granite City. Oh, beautiful. Bellissimo. Linda. Lindo. Lindo, that's the one. I don't know if the city is masculine or feminine. Anyway, the bench. Bain, Finlay, Barron, Evian, Pierini, Francis and Edmondson. Porteous misses out. He's injured. Yeah, he got injured kicking a ball. Ironic that the hardest man in Scotland. Uh, the hardest man in Scotland. He's not from Dundee. He's always considered to be a, a kind of a hard man time. When I go on holiday in London, if anybody knows I'm from Dundee, they sort of give me the look of, ooh... Hard man. The point was, he's a poo house and he got injured kicking a ball. Pathetic, Ryan. Disappointed in you. Oh my word. Okay, the Bayern Munich side. A few recognisable faces in there, actually. Manuel Neuer, obviously. <laughs> yep, he's very good, isn't he? Benjamin Pavard. Just going to show you some of what we're up against by clicking on them. Ozan Kabak. Jesus Christ. Lucas Hernandez. Oh my God. Alaba. Hmm, okay, this is just scaring me now, to be honest. Goretzka, whoa, bloody hell, right, and Brandt. Not going to go through the rest, but this man, I checked him earlier, he's Portuguese. Oh, it'd be painful if a Portuguese man knocks us out of the Champions League. I could never forgive him. I don't think he's that concerned about my forgiveness, to be honest. Jao Rezende. Anyway, just Thomas Muller on the bench of them. Brilliant. Ah, it's, uh, mm, I'm it's very scared, to be honest. Um, at least Felipe is fit. The couple of them took knocks. Armando being one of them. Um, don't know why I'm pausing it. Uh, Felipe Cruz and Dragovic. So we would have been, and Finlay actually. So we could have been without no centre halves after selling Mikey Devlin in the last one. But as a highlight, nearly immediately at Petodri. Last time we played them, we lost five one uh, at the Allianz Arena. But we did draw two two in the leg at Petodri. So you never know. I I, I think I know. But um, anyway, here's Jonathan on the ball. It's with Dragovic now. Come on, he's not played much, but he basically has to if you want to play our poo housing formation. Figal on a booking already. Just what you want to see. Dirk Proper, PSG interested in him now, by the way. So that is really, really good. Thiago Guvia, hit it. Unlucky, Thiago. Positive signs, though. And Ricky Polg in putting it in there. It's it's Figal. He's cleared it. And Contessau's on the break now. There could be a chance here for Aberdeen. We can make something of it. Francisco, don't give the ball away. He doesn't. Proper. <gasps> We're beating Bayern Munich 1-0. Dirk Proper, the Dutch wonder. That's why PSG Blumen want him. But we knocked out PSG. So are we going to knock out Bayern Munich? Dirk Proper thinks so. Contessau broke in. That's why we paid so much money for him in January. To keep him permanently. Dirk Proper buries it. Ah, oh, Armando's in the mix there as well. Ah, Jesus wept. Sip of tea calm. Calm yourself down. Oh my god. Contessau. It's in by Felipe Cruz. Ah, uh, oh, it's back to Neuer. Oh no, oh no. 
They're going to look to fire back quickly. Lucas Hernandez, now with Ozan Kabak. Gretzka obviously plays for them in real life. Oh, no. Kenny T Is that... That's not Kenny Tete, surely. A Fulham in real life. No, no, no. Brant's been halved by Cruz. That's just what you want to see. Alaba, though. They're fashioning this very nicely. That's not what you want to see. Felipe Cruz has kicked him up in the air. There's no doubt about it. And the referee's going to VAR. Have a sip of tea while we wait, while we... Who's shocked? I'm not. Clear penalty. We've thrown away our early lead, I would imagine. David Alba, number seven, that's suspect. Montipo goes the wrong way. Unlucky, but we're in a game here. They're in a game here, more to the point. This could be on. You never know. They actually did get a penalty at Pataudry the last time they were here as well. So, you know, we're just repeating history here. 2-2 um, two -two draw, we would take that, as long as we don't get papped 5-1 over there. Proper, back to Dragovic now. Up to uh, Thiago Guvia. Jonathan, fire the ball across. Armando must be there. No. Clash of the Titans here. Aberdeen, Bayern Munich and Milan, Barcelona. Jesus wept. Ferguson's on the ball now. Armando, out wide to Guvia. Straight up Neuer. Don't fire it straight at him. He's only the best keeper in the world, for goodness sake. It's Jonathan. At least make him work for the saves. Dirk Proper. Out wide to Contessao. Hit the post from a header from the edge of the area. Didn't know Francisco had that in him. Chances are coming thick and fast here. Alaba with a free kick. Montipo saves. Out for a corner. Well done, Lorenzo. That'll do you, son. Just want to check we're actually on key. We are. Rique Plug. That's the plug. Oh, God. Definitely not how you say his name. But we're on the break here. Conta Sao. No. Oh, he's won it back. Go on, then. Find a man. That's disgusting. Cynical from David Alaba. Oh, shocking, mate. Another highlight now. Dragovic up the line to Armando. Need to get you further up the pitch, son. Proper. Here he is again, though. Go on. Ferguson. Out wide to Felipe Cruz. Get between the sticks, Armando. Guvia! Guvia! Oh, beautiful. £1.5 million we paid for him. The Portuguese connection there. Is it say French connection? Nope. Felipe Cruz assists. Tiago Guvia. We sold... Uh, Diogo Gonçalves. Might have been a bit controversial. He's done really well for us. For us. Winning the Scottish Cup and the league as well but replaced him made a six million pound profit between the two and wow okay i say six million pounds because it was seven and a half million for gonchalves considering we bought him for less than a million as well actually and only 1.5 for Gavia. 2-1 we could go in at half time we do and we're on top we deserve it go on lads bloody hell 2-0 milan against barcelona as well chaos in the champions league i tell you Champions Cup, sorry. Yeah, I can only just say, keep it up. Let's have some tea. Calm ourselves down here, folks. Take a sip. This is chaos, I'm telling you. Oh, it's got a bit cold. That's disappointing. Second half is underway. Can we hold on? Stay tuned to find out. We've had it clear. I was convinced they were going to score there. Hernandez. Jonathan's nicked it off him, though. Don't give it away. Up to Armando. He's run the channel very well. He finds Contessao. He's through on goal. 3-1. An assist for Armando. That was a beautiful pass. And Contessao just took it in his stride. Past Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer. Who? Wow. That was unreal. Armando. Look at that pass. That's why we pay so much money for these players. And it's paying off. Contessao. Great finish. Fr finish from Francisco. Not a finish from Francisco. Oh, Lindo, Lindo. Woo! Thomas Muller's on, though, so that's not Lindo. Uh, no, no Lindo. Don't think that's right. 20 minutes left to play. I'm not making any changes yet, because it's all going well. It will go wrong, I'm sure, as Joshua Zerxi comes on. I'll maybe make a change after this highlight, whether they score or not. Henrique in the middle of the park. It's now with Goretzka. Oh, God. Bracalo, hit him, please. Hit him, please. Ah, oh, he can hit it into the stand all he likes. Oh, shocking. Right, let's make the first of our three changes. We're going to tell him to waste time as well, make the most of these changes. Let's be smart about this, Dons, and we'll be more disciplined as well, actually. Um, And we're dropping a bit further back, I've decided. Just press higher and a higher defensive line, just in case. It is Bayern Munich, remember. 
So, mm, what might be best to do? Bear with me. We're sacrificing the wiggers. Guvia and Kotsasai have played amazingly, but we're going to pack the midfield a bit more. Connor Barron comes on, and Edmondson comes on up there as well. Another physical presence, pressing forward. And maybe Armando could do this support. He's going to go and uh, maybe just balance as well. See if we can see this out. We've got a good lead and still one more change which we will be making. Stuart Finlay will come on later on. Thomas Muller scores, though. Not good. Let's keep a win. Hold on to a win, and we've got an okay chance. I mean, it is the Allianz Arena we're talking about here. It's a good ball in. Muller at the back post. Montipo didn't stand much chance there. Poor marking, though. Um, da -da -da. Oh, God, another highlight before the game is out. It's Neuer. He's gone long, but we've won it. Jonathan in the middle of the park there for some reason. It's with Ferguson. Nathan Cooney, are we going to get another goal here? This could be chaos. Fire it in, Jonathan, mate. He has done. Armando, shot block. Is that the highlight, really? Okay, well, fair enough. Okay, so Armando's going to come off. Edmonton's up there by himself on a pressing forward duty. Dragovic just in front of the back four. And Finlay on. Back four, back three. It's kind of a back four with him in there as well, I suppose, Dragovic. I'm going to finish my tea as well because it's now got a little bit cold and I don't want it to be stone cold. Not Steve Austin. What? Okay, I've confirmed the changes. We're added time now. A win for the coefficient is very good. It gives us a good chance of going through, but a win in the first leg is good for the coefficient. Hopefully that'll help us going forward as well. But look at that. We've been all over them. We're well-deserved for our win. It's just annoying it was only by a goal. We'll see you in Germany. Oh, boy. That'd be some trip again, wouldn't it? That didn't go last time. I was like eight. Would have been cool, though. Okay, when I said I'll see you in Germany, I lied. I'll just quickly update you on the games that we've played. We beat Dunfermline in the Scottish Cup quarter-final 3-1 with a much rotated side. But what I can gather from this is that Dunfermline aren't much worse than Bayern Munich. Then we scraped by against Motherwell, who eventually had 10 men. But the Basque general of all people popped up, and I honestly couldn't love him anymore. What a hero. Then scraped past Kilmarnock, but the most important thing is that we did. 2-1, a great goal from Ferguson to win it. But that's what champions do. They get by in these great games where they need the nitty-gritty. Couldn't say that there, that was close. And then whipping boys, Dundee United were up again. 5-0, we papped them. Loads of different goal scorers. Armando got on the score sheet for the first time. Gives him some confidence. Get the first goal off his back. I believe it's the monkey off his back, they say. Don't know, I'm not professional. Now, Bayern Munich next. Let's get the passports out, boys. We're going to Germany. Don't bother getting the passports out. We can't go anywhere. Anyway, the team to play Bayern Munich is this. Montipo, Cooney, Figal, Finlay, Cruz, Jonathan, Jonathan, even Ferguson, Proper. The Basque general starts. Mainly because Contessai was suspended because he got booked in the last game. But also Evian taking a little knock as well. So the Basque general, and honestly I'm quite happy that he's playing. He's been here for a long, long time. One of the first players we spent actual money on. And he scored the winner against Motherwell. He's just a hero. I love him so much. Guvia on the other side and Armando's ready to go. The bench is Bain, Dragovic, Emmanuel, Baron, Francis, Pierini and Edmondson as well. I am very, very... Very nervous. Oh, God. Um, we'll see how this goes. Not too confident. Not too confident. Neuer, Pavard, Ta, Hernandez, Alaba, Pulg, Puig. It's Puig, not Plug or Pulg. Okay. Goretzka, Coutinho, Tete, Brandt and Resendi. I mean, it's not half bad team, is it? Muller's on the bench again. But, um, yeah, we in Bayern, we have uh, Robert Levan Lewandowski. You know, Robert Lewandowski. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, we are underway at the Allianz Arena and they've got a highlight straight away. Resende's headed over. That was almost the nightmare of all nightmare of a start. Basque General's in the book. What a fella. Kick them. He's, he's up for it. He bleeds red. Most people do, but he bleeds red and white because like Aberdeen. I'll stop now. Carry on. We've injured Puig. This is good stuff. A highlight for Aberdeen. Armando out wide. Get between the sticks, mate. He bagged one and he got another ace assist for Consasau as well in the Dundee United game. Proper. F out wide. Proper. Also, he's got a Netherlands call up now. He's about to be a Dutch internationalist. What a man as the Basque general heads over. Also, if he becomes a Dutch internationalist, that adds to his value when we do inevitably sell him because he is amazing. It's Cooney now. He's found 
Felipe Cruz, high up the right hand side, gets across. Armando! Armando sneaked one in! Oh my god! Okay, and away goal! That is not too bad. Obviously, they got a couple, but one. That is a good start. 4 2, we lead on aggregate. 1 0 on the night. Could be about to go 2 1 Aberdeen in the history of Aberdeen versus Bayern Munich. Oh, Manuel Neuer, no chance. That was Dominic Ryman esque. Come on now, can we get in at half time? We're sort of on top, keeping the ball more, same amount of chances, sort of. Tested Manuel Neuer more, and it's half time. 1 0 we lead. We could actually do this. Okay, great opportunity. If we do win this, I'm basically going to have to show you every game between now and, then, and the end of the season. We've got a Scottish Cup semi final. We could win the league, and I need to show you the league table after it. There's been some changes. And obviously this, the Champions League, we're in it, that is. It'll be chaos. I'm not not feeling good for editor Calum having to do all them because it'll be bumper games, I'd imagine. Get things over quickly. A big, chunky episode. An hour played. We still lead 1-0. Again, 20 minutes to go. I really don't want to change much. I just want to leave it. Nothing's happening. If we just leave it, we'll be okay. God, I should have changed stuff. Jonathan Ta, Coutinho now. Back with Ta in. We head clear. Goretzka on the edge area. No, no. Whoa. Hit the post. Okay, we're going to change stuff. Uh, what will I do, though? Ooh, I have no idea. Okay, Connor Barron and Edmondson come on at the Allianz Arena. Pressing forward defend for Edmondson this time. And Mesala for Connor Barron. The Basque General and Guvia both put in shifts. It's been a tough night. They come off. And we're also going to go a bit shorter passing. Be more disciplined. Waste time. Regroup when we lose the ball. And drop a little deeper. Probably take get stuck in off as well since we've got three players in the book. Taking two booked players off. Oh boy. Okay, come on now. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. One more change. Abu Francis up front. Just to waste the time. He comes on. We win at the Allianz Arena. That is our best result today. I think... Or is beating PSG better? I don't know. You need to tell me in the comments down below because I can't decide. Two huge, huge, huge results. And okay, it was pretty even there, but you can't say we didn't deserve it over the two legs. That is massive, lads. Absolutely huge. Well done, boys. I'm proud. And the Basque General was part of it as well. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How much money do we get for getting through that? Eight million. Amazing stuff. That'll pay for a player or two. And I was telling you there'd been some changes in the league. We are now three points ahead of Celtic. They slipped up against Dundee. They drew with them. And I think they maybe dropped points in another game. I can't quite remember. But we've been on fire. We're three points ahead of them. We've still got them to play twice though. Oh, it's going to be very tight at the end of the season. But there was word Ancelotti was interested in the Aston Villa job. So if he goes, that could be capitulation. You never know. Because he obviously came in and put them in very good form last season. Which almost led to me bottling it after Lennon left. Oh, scary times, scary, scary times. Now, before we go, I'll show you the draw. Eight teams go into the hat. It's going to be the quarterfinal and the semi-final. Man City, Liverpool, Aberdeen and Ajax. It's going to be interesting. Let's see who we get in the quarterfinal. It's not Ajax or Real Madrid. Could it be Milan? It's not Milan, an all-Italian tie. Liverpool. We're against an English side, no matter what. Liverpool, Aberdeen. <laughs> Oh dear lord, that is going to be interesting. And Manchester City, Man United. My god, and let's see. If we do beat Liverpool, who will play in the semi-final? Ajax or Real Madrid versus Man City or Man United. Which means if we get past Liverpool, we play Milan or Napoli. Oh boy, Napoli again! After we played them in the group stages. That would be interesting. But just Liverpool to get past next time. But these boys don't know when they're beating. We got past out of a group even with Napoli, PSG and Tottenham. I think that needs to be talked about more. And then we beat Bayern Munich in the bloody next round. <sighs> this is some team we've got here. We could do anything. Will we get another European trophy and add to the stars? Become a th uh, the first Scottish team to win three European trophies. Not just two. Who knows? I'll have to stay tuned to find out. And talking of coming back, we will come back with the Celtic game and the Champions League quarterfinal leg one. We'll play the Hearts game in between, I'll update you. And then the episode after that, it'll be Hearts in the semi-final and the second leg of the Liverpool clash tie. I'm all over the shop. I'm too excited. Oh boy, if you have enjoyed, please do smash that like button. I think we deserve it after today's episode. 
hit subscribe if you want to come back for more, hit the dislike button if you didn't enjoy and comment down below, let me know how I can improve and why you disliked the video. Oh, I need a lot of Pepsi Max, a lot of Pepsi Max. Oh, Lord above. Thank you very, very much for watching and take care. I'm away with the fairies. I don't know. I can't believe it.